All right, so we've got a new alternator and we're hoping that this is gonna, gonna fix this uh, little issue we got with the charging system. So we're gonna see if we can't take this crappy old one off here that I got off of another Jeep and I had no idea if it worked or anything and I just slammed it on here and it appears that it does not work. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this one off. We're gonna slam the new one on, see if it'll work. If we can get the SOB hooked up proper like, it would be, it would be grand. Cause then we drive this rig out to Colorado or something, all the way there, 30 mile an hour. Let's see. 16ths, I think. Let's see. It helps when you have your tools organized so you can easily access them at any given time. You don't want to spend time looking for stuff when you could just, you know, be sending it. But why would we want that? That ain't no fun. I had all these tools in this bag from when I went went up in the mountains. I brought everything with me in case I had a, a breakdown. I don't want to be left stranded in the willies. Let's see here. Go ahead and unhook this garbage. Alleged GM one wire, even though it takes two wires, but you know, it's one wire if you just believe it in your heart, you know. So, let's get a look at it so you can see what kind of crap I'm, I'm messing with here. Hang on, get this clamp to my hood, hold it up. Yeah, there you go. So this is the alternator that was on the CJ3B. It's nice and early. And I had no idea if it ran or not. If it was any good. It's not working. So I'm thinking it's because it's giving up the ghost. So we got us a new one. We're going to send it with it. See what happens. So it's really, it's really quite really quite nice when you have a alternator that charges your your battery especially when you're like 12 miles from anything it'd be really cool if the, the battery charging system was was working so that's where this this one comes in so we got us this freshly remanned because it's really hard to to find a a non reman alternator these days I didn't want to order it. I wanted it today because I want to send it in the willies. So, get us a little alternator instruction action. I got to take that one back over there, the one I just showed you for the core. 12 volt, 63 amp, right on. That's what I wanted, 63 amp. 84 to 1990 Buick Century. It'll fit all kinds of stuff, fit anything you want. And then you got a little tube of, of grease down in here where you can, you can grease it up if you want. Let's see, let's have a look at this, see what they recommend, how you wire it up, because everybody seems got a, uh, a different opinion about that. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Seems to make sense. All right, let's slam it on there and see what happens. I'm gonna put you back up here because you don't want to look at my ugly face any more than you absolutely have to. So, put this back. We're gonna take the wire right here and on the back here you got, you got two connectors on this one wire, all right? We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on connector number two, dos. Click it onto there. And then we're gonna take, I'm gonna take said wire. 
we're going to run it over here. If I can get this screwed off. It's like it, yeah, and you put it right there, like that. And then you run your main battery wire off of that on there. And then, allegedly, it will function. Hypothetically speaking, it will. So, let's slip this back down in here. Tighten that MF down. Let's see. Take your fancy Cornwell wrench. Oh, this one's smaller. Of course it is. Let me get a different wrench. Of course it's smaller. It's like 5 sixteenths. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It could be 3 eighths too. Let's see. Take that, put that on there, tighten that MF her up. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm almost at a hundred subscribers. So I'm thinking about doing a, uh, a little giveaway, maybe a sticker or a hat or something. I get to a hundred. I'm kind of amazed there's a hundred people interested in any of this BS I'm on here doing anyway, but I appreciate everybody that watches. So I enjoy making these videos and I hope y'all enjoy enjoy watching them. Let's see, so we'll turn it around. I'll take that. And we can get it to go to its home. We have to bend that arm over just a touch. I think I bent it when I put the other one on. This one's got a little wider base, which is good, so that we can uh, get that to fit. And the hammer. Magnum, Magnum hammer. It's hot. It's rats doing it a wool sock in here. This is supposed to be fall, people. It's supposed to be fall. Doesn't feel like fall. Sweating like a mofo. Let's see here. Yeah, go ahead and drop your new alternator. That's what you want. Bend the fans on it. That's all right. Oh, never mind. Get our night picks pliers out here. These work really good. If you've never used these, these uh, these work really nice. They clamp super hard. Get extra leverage with them. They don't. They don't break. There we go. Just give that a little kiss. Spin that over. Grab your alternator again for the seventeenth time. Go ahead and put it into its new home. The other one was sitting a little crooked. It wouldn't. Wasn't lined up exactly right, so I'm hoping this one will fit because it fits in better like it's supposed to. I'm hoping that it'll uh, it won't be crooked. It'll be in line with my other pulleys. Can't have this hole giving us trouble. I know this is exciting for you to watch, by the way, I understand. <laughs> Trying to get this all hooked up and whatnot. I must bracket down a touch. I do believe. Ow. Pain. 
that's a half, oh, half inch. Let's look on the other one. Let's go ahead and switch our ratchet over. Wait, let's stop. And we tighten up the bottom one. And allegedly, all we gotta do is take that wire loose in the back, hook it to the battery, and we will be groovy. Let's go grab this battery. Oh, and I, I, uh, I sold the other Willys, the 56. I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad about it. It went to a really good home. You know who I'm talking to. I appreciate you buying it, sir. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I feel better about it because he's going to take good care of it. He's got big plans to, to do. Sounds like a pretty good thorough restoration on it. So I'm excited that he's going to get a chance to enjoy it, take care of it. Um, get this battery. I think it'll be, it'll be good. I do kind of miss it though. I like having the trucks around, but I don't sell the trucks to just anyone. I'm real picky about it because if I know a guy's gonna buy it and cut it up, I won't sell it to you. There's plenty of them out there that are already in bad shape. You can cut them up, don't cut up good ones. So I'm relieved he's gonna take care of it. All right. Maybe that won't fall off and break my camera. All right. Go ahead and see if we can't put this battery in there. Ow. Ow. Yeah, hit your fender. Yeah. All right, so we need to put the battery terminal this way. These are, these can be really fun to put in. Trying to find a 12 volt battery that'll fit in here also a bit of a chore but this one fits in there like almost flawlessly so that makes it pretty nice yes. Broke out of there. all right so now we need to take we need to take this one off the I love these old wrenches this is an old Williams double ended wrench and these things are just money for working on these old trucks because they I swear they fit better and they uh, And you've got two sizes on every wrench, so it makes it it makes it easier to work with Man a chicken got in here the other day <laughs> We're in here me and my brother working on some stuff and There was a chicken up there on the there's a shelf behind the camera Damn chickens in here stole the crap out of me. Didn't even know what was in here. Come on, just go to your home. Now the only concern is is if this wire is long enough. And of course it's it's uh, it's not. It's too short by like a millimeter too. Rotate this up and get that little bit of extra length out of it that we need. Looks like a pair of little cut. Take that, cut that end off of it. Like that. We're going to cut it again to make sure it's clean because I cut that one first wrong. All right, let's see. Alternator. Appears to be alternating. Let's see. Yeah, so the the maximum output on this alternator is 14.5. Right now I think it's 13.25. So I mean it does it depending on the needs of the battery. If the battery's really dead, it's gonna pump out more energy. If not, so it might be alright. Take this.
Here we are at zero. And then let's see if I can show you. There it is at zero, basically. I can get these untangled, damn it. Alright, there it is. Zero. I'm gonna touch that in negative this one to the positive. 13.33 with it running all right so let's shut her off and then we'll check it and see all right that trucks off obviously let's see what it does now let's see what the volts are at we're at zero again Come on, go to zero. There you go. Uh, oh. 12.9695. Let's see here. Point eight three. All right, and then we'll throttle it. See what that does. As they're saying that's what you got to do to get it engaged. Got to get them RPMs up enough for it to kick on. All right. Thirteen point three two. So yeah, now we got to. A successfully working charging system it doesn't come on until you throttle it once you get it up I think it's supposed to be above 2,000 rpm like 2300 or something it kicks on and now it's charging at idle so that's uh should be a successful charging system now which is bueno I might need to tighten this up. It's moving just a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. I mean, it's real solid in there. I don't know. I can reach down there and tighten it up with a wrench or something. Put my battery tray back on and then I'll take it for a test drive. Um, but just a little, little show on how to put the alternator in if you've never done it. It's pretty easy if you get the white, right wires and stuff on hand. But anyway, we're almost to 100 subscribers. Almost, almost there. I think we need two more. Now that we got the charge assistant going, we should be able to take the wheelies wherever the hell we want. But anyway, this is Ray Clay Traveler signing out. Have a good day.